Alrighty folks, here we are, Valencia, 2023 European Cup Hockey Men's Masters. Scotland in the white versus Ireland, as you would imagine, in the green. There's Scotland just, it's the first quarter, just started a couple of minutes ago. And Scotland have already found themselves a short corner, uh, but nothing came of it. A little bit of a stick check there, just as they tried to enter the D. Oh, no, he's got space here to come out on the right. If he, on the left, sorry, if he comes out through George Blackwood, uh, but he's going to try and drill one through the middle to Billy Pollock. Billy got a stick on it, but um, Glenn Payton, there, 18 for Scotland, picked his pocket. So it's a little bit into traffic, uh, but they've managed to get the free back again. There's Ramey Parker now, throws it wide there, and there's um, Stuart Switzer over on the right-hand side. Comes through very nicely, one, two. There, uh, oh quite nicely worked but uh, didn't quite come off there with Willie there's a couple and come back to the centre and he's cocked that one up a little bit but he managed to get himself out of trouble they're in a bit of a, a pickle here but uh, oh, that's quite nicely done uh, but came up, up, up and off the feet so it's the first one yeah Glenn Payton uh, he's a, a wee bit tricky he's got some good skill about him for a big tall fella and of course we've got a wingspan like an albatross but uh, Scotland are giving the ball straight back to Stuart Switzer who's put it in there to Billy Pollock and um, unfortunately Lord Pollock has missed the ball, collected the stick uh, but it's play on uh, Scotland just happy now to go across the back and probe a, a little bit there if they can and um, he's up the Highland stick and up and over the side Scotland now entering the 23 and here's a player in space oh and he's made it through George Blackwood he's popped it through and here's a chance now there's two of them it's a shot he's lit it up oh and he's gone wide of the right post oh didn't even get it on target Parker now he's a good solid player yeah plays it back and around sensible thing to do options closed down uh, Willie tries to push it through there tries to drive it through two or three but uh, not happening Peyton now they're calling to go back they're calling to go back and he does he tries the first time slap that one didn't really get much on it there 41 um, he was under no pressure yeah, but uh, this is the over 70 division so they're not quite as young as they used to be of course maybe not quite as subtle or is it supple <laughs> probably both <laughs> and uh, they just let that one through so it's probably a wise, wise decision so away down to the back blocks everyone has a a good mouthful of oxygen now the right back for Ireland on this side is square with his man he really needs to be deep down in in the in the D so there's a backward pass on that was only ever going to go either straight down the line or diagonally across court in which case it would have been straight back at them because there's um, all the players are stacked over on that side so if they could just get themselves organized at the back and give a backward diagonal pass option then that would make mean a whole lot but well, there's a very nice one there very nicely rubbed and they top the feet here it comes again here's a chance now billy pollock goes straight through on the first time hit and it's going out and over the side on the far side and you can hear the crowd here, they've got a good following in. Stuart Switzer, here he comes, oh nicely done, nicely done. Comes across, smashes one through there. Oh and clearance under pressure, there's very nice clearance, but um, not quite good enough. Oh there's a stick check, he's uh, apologising, the umpire's right there, it's a good strong blow. Uh, Parker now, back across the middle, nicely done. Uh, just yeah mistrapped that one they can leave that one go but he's actually got himself in the way and he's come off his foot <laughs> expecting it in front of him came in behind him oh nice little ball down the line there defender had stepped inside there George Blackwood and um, uh, it's very nicely done here's a couple of players free here's a shot on target but no it's not on target it's gone wide, wide of the right post again so either the forward's got to change or they're going to have to move the post at this rate because um, Scotland aren't really finding the targets, let alone the net. 
here's an option on this side if he can go, but he's, he's trying to put too much on it here. He's away now. Oh, there's up and under for Parker. Uh, Pollock may have been better going on his own there. He only had the one to beat. But uh, he, did the, he did the right thing, but that, here's a, a poor pass back. Parker again makes himself a, a metre or two of space and slides it back around. There's Little Dink again, so one, two, three, four. Nice little triangles happening here. Nice little triangles. Oh, the horrible stick check again. And there's a big whistle from the far umpire and he's waving his hands around there saying, cut it out. And um, probably quite correct. Oh, a nice little touch from Scotland there. Just deflected the ball away from the green shirt. No targets up forward. He's going to go up and over, but there's absolutely no one there. Although, oh, yeah, we ended there. The umpire's blown against him. There was, yeah, but the uh, Scottish player came into the play, so that was a terrible um, shame. And certainly unexpected on the part of Ireland. But anyway, the umpires have got their job to do, and they're blowing it how they see it. Nine, just under just under the nine minutes left in this first quarter. Uh, no score yet. Uh, Scotland has been in and around the D a few times. Ireland haven't penetrated the opposition D yet. There's a whole pile of players in front of him. He really needs to come wide out here to this side. Oh, everyone's over there. Oh, Billy Pollock manages to get something on it. Oh, very nicely laid stick there from Glenn Payton, but um, he didn't manage to get enough on it again. The surface could be a little bit sticky, perhaps. Okay, second half commencing now, Scotland with the ball. Over 70s men, Scotland in the white, in the dark shorts, Ireland there in the green of course, green, white, green, and uh, they go up and over the top for somebody to run onto, which is going to be hard to engineer at this age group because usually you've, you've got to be pretty quick to get in and behind the defenders. Look at Stuart Switzer go again, taking players on left, right and centre. And he's having a blinder today. Oh, Lord Pollock tried to reach in there. And we've got big John Keppel over here, number 60. Uh, back in the day that was his age and he had his own sh number on his shirt, but these days he's advanced. And that's raised up into his own player, Parker. Grabs that one and puts it onto Keppel's stick. Keppel has a look around and comes wide. That's nice play. Anybody in the D know he's got to come back and around. There just isn't much available. Oh, he's popped it through the legs there. And uh, there we go again. There's a leg race here. Uh, back to Wee Willie. Wee Willie puts it back again. Oh, and that's a stick check. So, yeah. Willie takes the ball and sends it back here to Featherstone and he... Puts it up the line to Keppel. Oh, yeah, another, another clash of sticks. And the umpire's made his decision. He said, Peyton, you can have it. There you go, Scotland. And he goes over the top again. He's going to try this one again. And there's 22 on the burst. Uh, picks that one up yet again. So that was nicely paced ball. Here's it straight across the face of goal. And uh, now onto the other side.
Okay, Ireland on the far side. We're back again. Here we are. Oh, a bit of a tangle of sticks there between a couple of players. Got to be careful with that kind of thing. Parker's within the five, and there's a card coming. Yeah, the umpire's reaching into his pocket. He said, off you go. There's two. Is it two? Yes, it's green. Uh, yeah, rightly so. Uh, deliberately breaking down the play. Scotland are certainly taking their time here. They've got options around the place. So I was waiting for the umpire's whistle, which isn't necessary with a two-minute card. But anyway, maybe the umpire told him he's got to. A deflection there through. And there's a swing and a miss on the defence. Uh, the deception fooled the Scottish player who was waiting to pick up the scraps and there weren't on. Uh, Willie comes out to the side this time. And he cracks one long, but he doesn't get onto it. No, the umpire's blown and, and given the advantage to Scotland. Well, didn't give them the advantage, gave them the free, but they, I think they would have preferred the advantage. Now there's two of them running away from the ball here, as they're both afraid of being within the five. Oh, nice drag, Peyton. There's a back stick. Yeah, and not only that, he ran it over the back line due to the miss um, drag. He ran his ball over the st his stick over the ball and then collected it with the back stick on the way through. Now here's Wee Willie again. Uh, comes out wide to the side, but um, Pollock was standing there and the player decided he was going to try and cut this line, which he did. Peyton's going to crack one through here. Pollock got a stick on it, but it deflected into the goal. And that was a stick check, so free out to Ireland. The whole team pretty well is all within 20 metres of each other. Uh, where's Willie coming this time? Yeah, there's a lovely ball out there. Backstick! Oh. You hear the crowd calling a backstick there. But, uh, Pete's done a little dink. He's gotten away with that one. He's cracked it all the way across and into the far side of the goal, but again, no touch within the D. But they're knocking on the door, Scotland, of that there's no doubt. Ireland is struggling to come out from the back here. They need a bit of a plan. Uh, Keppel, he's, I think he's uh, got his players put it onto his own feet there. There's Parker now, he's got some good skill, Raymond Parker. Shows it and then just drops it onto Pollock's stick. He shows and then he drags it inside onto the feet. So well done, Lord Pollock. Parker again comes through. Up and away now. Here's Alan making an entry into the D. If he can get it across here, he can make, and that can make something happen. And the umpire's got his hands out wide. So that's a free out, unfortunately. He's gone over the back line to nothing. Well cut out. Drives one across. Oh! oh there's a bit of a swing there in the air. I'm surprised the umpire's played that on at this age. Oh! And um, this man down just clashes sticks on the way through. Again, nothing intentional. Just uh, players can't quite get around as quickly as they might in a younger age division. So you sometimes get a bit of a clash of bodies. players oh that's nicely done he's threaded that one and that's lifted up and over the stick and tends onto it here he comes cracks one across the D just deflected away to the top of the D turns and shoots he's going to run over the back line maybe pops it back keepers on it Crawford McKee uh, back across the face of goal the other way and there's a bit of a leg race here but um, it's out and over the sideline for Scotland Oh no, umpire's got his other hand up now, he's giving it to Ireland. And the Scottish are waiting to... Oh, that's off the legs, it's going to be the short corner. Yeah, Scotland are just waiting for the pass to be made. 
They're just hovering and hoping. Bit of a clash of sticks there from Switzer and his opponent. Lord Pollock now taps the ball through to himself, but unfortunately just too much on it. He showed his hand too early. Needed to dummy and then perhaps come back. Anyway, there's a nice ball out from Scotland, nice and flat. Finds his player, finds his mark. That one's bubbled through and that one has been picked up by the Scottish player. They're back to the centre half and nicely pushed through the inside channel, which was open, but nobody leading into there, so... A nice move, but nobody on the end of it. Now Scotland have regained their shape. Yeah, a bit of panic there. They haven't got the second phase play worked out for Ireland. Yeah, it's like they say, they really need that's the one now. That's nicely done. Parker reaches in and just lifts it over the stick, but also lifts it over the sideline. Oh. Nice little flick of the wrist there from Wee Willie. <laughs> A bit of an ole from the crowd. <laughs> That one's running over the sideline. The umpire has got his left hand up. So Scotland ball. And the umpire. He's back on the case. He's not having them sneak up a, a meter or two. He wants it where he wants it. No, umpire, yeah, umpire's giving it to White. He's saying it's a uh, stick check from Ireland. Ireland don't agree, but that doesn't matter. And uh, Ireland are only clearing it through channels with Scottish players in the way. Scotland has lifted the ball up. Of his own. Oh no, the umpire couldn't see that. He's blown it the, the wrong way. It came definitely up off the Scotland stick. Oh, the umpire's getting the short corner now. So that's a little bit unfortunate on the part of Ireland. The Scottish player lifted the ball up into his own body. Uh, the umpire seen it as Ireland did so, which I'm surprised because the umpire was behind the play and the other umpire didn't indicate anything. Anyway, it's a short corner. So, advantage Scotland. Just over two minutes to the half time whistle. So, it'd be a good time to add the extra for Scotland. Let's just see what they do. They're all lined up. Slow out. You know, the second phase play, and uh, Ireland half clear the ball to the top of the D. Parker now up the Scottish player, and he comes out quickly now and away. Switzer pulls it back. Oh, another stick check. Oh, Pollock tries to get on that one. He had a nibble, but uh, couldn't poke it over the opposition stick. Nicely done. Uh, Scotland are recomposing themselves again. Let's see where this one goes. Yeah, they came right, and then they've gone back left. Yeah. Long corner. Oh, Peyton's going all the way here. 
He's inside the deeds, cross the face of goal into the back of the net. Oh, he's a Scottish fans for you. The wags, wives and girlfriends. Not sure how many girlfriends we have among them, but we certainly got some wives in there. And with, as the clock runs down with 30 seconds to go, that was in the final minute. So that, they left Peyton alone, he's a dangerous player. There's a good ball through, down into the corner, and number 10 here is an incredible run. And all that running as the clock ran down to zero. So, at the half-time whistle, Scotland 2, Ireland 0. Alrighty folks, start of the second half. Uh, puts the ball up and under, back to Scotland. In the time-honoured fashion at these type of tournaments, the friendly thing to do, pass the ball to the opposition. Now the umpire wants the ball taken from where the offence occurred. got the stick there with Paddy Good and uh, Switch has done the same thing but both of them have turned it over the sideline but it's um, sufficient to stop this Scottish run through that time Scotland have decided to come diagonally back Peyton's leading to the right and he's showing them in, in, the, in the nice gap there he's kicked that one and unfortunately Switch out umpires allowed him to play on from a different place and off the foot of Peyton again nice one from Pollock and he's drawn that tackle. Go, go, Billy, go! Yeah. Well, lift that ball through, but uh, yeah, too close to the opposition for comfort and for the umpire. A couple of umbrellas being put up here as uh, a drop of rain starts to come across. The I'm sure the players will be very happy with that. Very nice lead. Well, Scotland got the ball there, but he's already he got the free, but he's already sent the ball after the, that's when the stick check occurred, so it seems from here. This island ball. Yeah. Raby Parker to take. He's got Switzer over here on the side where he goes to the Wee Willie. And that's off the foot again. Oh, up to Pollock. Oh. Unfortunately, his, um, the ball came so fast at him. Yep. He managed to get the free though. The ball came so fast at him that um, he couldn't stop it dead. He's cracking it across into a troublesome area here. And the umpire has given it against. Okay. trap. Now we're seeing a little bit of that. The umbrellas are starting to come up now. Oh, Pollock again. Bobbling, bouncing ball. Results in another missed trap and the way she rolls. Oh, switch has picked his pocket there, but the umpire 
umpire's giving it to 10 and the crowd aren't happy. Nice, well done Paddy there, 72. Oh, that's nicely worked into a gap from Scotland. It's running all the way through. Is he going to make it? The Scottish player has fallen and um, tripped over the Irish player on the run through there. Uh, the umpire's blown the goal, but um, yeah, she ran across the back of his heels and tripped him up. And he's still down, so that was more than a little unfortunate. But anyway, the umpire's blown the goal, so that's Scotland 3, Ireland 0. And he's away off the field now. Uh, Glenn Payton in there for Scotland, uh, wishing him well and um, saying cheerio for now at least. If not today, they'll meet again for sure. Now I've had a bit of a break there, about uh, four or five minutes, whilst the injured player was attended to. And we're away now. Uh, some nice triangles there. Keeping the Scottish occupiers. Oh. There's an awful lot of confusion in there and bodies obstructing each other left, right and centre. The umpires decided it's going to go Scotland's way. They look the more likely to emerge with the ball, I think. Tried to go through Wee Willie there, but didn't manage it. And the umpire has blown it up. Well, he can't believe it. But uh, Scotland are going to march forward again. Managed to pop it through between the two players, and here's Peyton. Oh, shows it. And up and over the top, it's in the back of the net. Very nicely done. Very nicely done indeed. Yeah. He's a quality player, all right. Yeah, drew the keeper. Keeper went down, and he just pulled the ball back and lifted it up and over the top. So Scotland four, Ireland nil. Oh, he's hitting the ball away after the, well not deliberate foot, but um, you've got to be careful with those because the umpire can decide it's deliberate and um, oh, strange now to Parker careful yeah switcher another stick check on the way through oh, the umpire said Take it back another half a metre. You've got players on the left there. You've got Paddy over there who wants to use him, but he's come through here and that's got away. What? 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 I said foot, but there's no foot there. It was a stick for sure. Um, I don't think the crowd are going to endear themselves to the umpire either at this rate, but anyway, we'll see how they go. They fire that ball across there, and it looks like the sniper's got your man. It's off his own foot. It, def it definitely would have gone out. It definitely would have gone out, so it should be um, blown, but he hasn't blown it. And now it's gotten the way back down the other end again. Very strange decision, or non decision, I should say. Uh, 
and there's a bit of confusion as to where this ball's been taken but eventually they've decided it's a free on the edge of the D and everyone better back off five here's the captain now with the <coughs> stripes on his socks which is the indication Peyton bounces one through the umpire doesn't like it because it could lead to dangerous play even though it didn't seem particularly dangerous and that's a nice little triangle comes through to Keppel. He's standing just inside the D. He'd be probably better off standing just outside the D. And unfortunately, Lord Pollock got a touch on that, but he had his stick at the wrong angle. It's bounced over the side. There's a nice lead into the inside channel from Scotland. Lost it under his feet. And um, this time the umpire saw the foot that wasn't. So Ireland get one back. Maybe he's feeling a little bit guilty from... <laughs> from his previous decision but we shall never know and you can see all the flags there in the background all up on the banner behind the goal which is wonderful all, all the different countries well he's looking to go over the top and he puts it straight into 44 who fortuitously turned his back on the ball because anything could have happened there and you don't want a face full of hockey ball I can assure you And Buckwood is standing within the five metres there. And that's um, probably a little bit dangerous. You can give away a short corner very easily when you're inside the 23 like that. Uh, Scotland's decided to recycle to the right-hand side and change the angles and change the direction of attack. And there's a short corner given for throwing the stick in. Yep, clash of sticks. Now here comes the injection, umpire's controlling the injector, he wants the ball exactly on the line, he's been a stickler. Looks like it's going to the top of the D which is exactly where it goes. And it's off the foot for another short corner, Parker was out, checked. And you'll hear some strange accents around here. Some of them are Scottish, some of them are Northern Ireland, some of them Southern Ireland. Ah, we're away now, it's back inside again. And it's laid left one. He's tried to flick it in there, but the keeper's got a stick on it. There's a swing and a miss, and it's gone wide. Well, Ireland. Uh, if, you, if you're not sure what they're saying, send me a comment in the comment section, and I'll um, <coughs> interpret for you. <coughs> Big John Keppel. Parker comes out here, Willie on the reverse. Yeah, that's the better idea. Push it away out of trouble, diagonally back and make yourself some space to have a look and have a think. He smashed that ball all the way down into the bottom corner. It's gone off the back line, so it'll be a 16-yard hit out. I think it would cross the back line. We'll see in a second. Uh, yeah, so it was. So Ireland get to take the the ball from the 16-yard from the back line, and that was a dangerous ball into nothing. It, um, very fortuitously for Ireland, uh, Scotland have managed to collect it on their foot on the way through. But well, that could have been very dangerous indeed. Uh, Peyton laid the stick there and um, picked it up on the back stick. Keppel who's laid a stick and managed to pick it up and Pollock has stepped in to help him out where's he going to go he cracks one long it's all the way down the other end and out and off the back line
Push up, Johnny Capo. Push him up. Push up, Billy. Oh, that was unfortunate for Pollock. The umpire didn't like it, but it um, looked like it was clean tackle from here. Yeah, and Pollock gets that one. John Keppel, is he going to go over the top? He's showing it. Oh, and he's miscued. There you go. Yeah, we really put it back on the foot there. Yeah, Parker calls for it and gets it. He can go again if he wants. He does, Paddy. Oh, I'm not sure where that's going. Not looking good. Coming out to, oh, tries to go to Sedgwick, but he didn't get there. We will, he's uh, in the right place, but unfortunately a little bit square. And Scotland are on the burst now. He's got a free hit on the edge of the D, very unfortunate because he could have played on. Oh, he's lifted that one high into the D. I don't know how you could possibly play that one on, but he did. Uh, Lord Pollock here has collected it, and he's, he's tried to go over the top, but there was nobody there to go to, and, and you know, the opposition is giving it back to him. Keppel now, Pollock. Oh, the affection there, we will again. Oh, I tried to find Pollock down the line. He's got his angles wrong. Nice ball through. <laughs> I'll, I'll interpret that for you. There's nobody on the right hand side. For those of you who don't speak Scottish. <laughs> oh, and there's still a Scottish ball. There's problems here for Ireland, but um, they've managed to get themselves out of it. Uh, Pollock's got it now, he's cracked one long, it looks like he's picked up the foot on the way through, which he has. I'm not sure where he was going with the ball, maybe he was looking for the foot. Anyway, they've got the free hit. So everyone can reposition. Keppel. And that's off the foot again, Keppel gets a retake. You can see he was a slave to fashion with that bandana. And again, he's, he's been practicing that one a couple of three times and it hasn't come off yet, so he might want to rethink. Might want to rethink that. Across the face of goal. Oh. Fortunately, a touch there for Ireland, and unfortunately, no white shirt for Scotland. And that's the end of the third quarter. Here we go. Third and final quarter. Uh, Pollock smashes one long down the end of the field. And uh, said, you can have that if you can find it. And the blue bandana comes out to, to his right-hand side. And that's the one-two. And they change the angle, change the side. Ireland has decided they're going to maybe push some men forward and attack a little bit more now. That's a nice one over the top, but uh, oh, Paddy, it was on it, but he's missed it. Bounced through to his player, straight into the D. He's going to take a shot here. It's a shot, and he missed to the left hand side. Oh, 
Pollock can't believe that decision. He's giving the umpire a look. But that's the way he's been blowing it all day. Shows it one way, goes the other. That's a foot on the way through, so Scotland ball. Dow in the hat. <laughs> oh, Scotland in the D here. Peyton again. Here he comes. He's going to do something. He's to try to flick one straight in from zero angle. Probably not the best decision in the world. And uh, we will lead uh, Cedric there. He's put it back and off the Scottish foot for a free out. So that's relieved the pressure. See where they come now. They're going to walk it up to the top of the 16. Uh, Sedgwick, where's he going to go? Oh, off the foot of Parker, but only to the Scottish player, so the umpire's played him on. He's found his player very nicely, so. Switch is in the attendance, and he's um, very nicely chasing down his man. Uh, he couldn't beat the two of them, though. The umpire's playing it onto advantage. There's a mistrap on the edge of the day, but he's nicely laid it off. Steps around one, the captain there. Coming back to Peyton, who does a nice thing, changes the angle. He's going to try and flick one, but it's up and away. Danger there, no, the umpire's in play. Penalty stroke! A penalty stroke! Okay, here we go, keeper ready, striker ready. Oh, it's in the back of the net. The left hand side, the keeper's right, went down low left, but um, chose the wrong place. Uh, Polk just made a spectacular run down the inside left channel, taking on a couple of players and burst through to create a short corner here for Ireland. It's up the top of the D. Pollock again, he smashes one long. It's up the foot for a retake. So that's good play. Okay, switch on the injection. There we go. The top of the D. Parker. Up to the back to Switzer and he deflected wide. Oh no! Oh, that's there to be had. And Scotland have made a quick turnaround. Yeah, charging down this right hand side now. Peyton waiting to receive, which he does. A big long stride. Here he goes, attacking the deep left right hand side again. Oh, spins and turns. Spins back the other way. Ireland are asking for the de decision their way, but they're not getting it. Now the field spread, so Pollock screamed for the ball and he got it. Oh, terrible stick check there. And the umpire reaches into his pocket and he says, Green. Parker over the ball here. We will ease square to him if he can find him. Bockwood's blocking the line to him, however. He'll probably be better off staying deep. We've got four players in a row here, as you can see. And he put the plays directly into the line of an opposition player, and he's down. It's not looking good. Umpires um, racing in here on the right hand side. He took a bit of a knock on the head. That's not good. Well, there's been a couple of interesting passages of play there. There's, um, Scotland have had two yellow cards in the last minute. Now, Ireland found themselves down in the Scottish end with five to go on the clock. And, um, of course, they drilled one in there high, unfortunately losing their advantage. And Scotland has the easy ball now, so they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the field, including the keeper. 
And Glenn's shaking his head here, number 18 for Scotland. You can hear it rattling from here. Well, Ireland have got 9 v 11 now, so maybe they can strike back and score themselves a goal or two. Uh, make this respectable, we'll see what happens. Uh, Scotland just happened to put that one off the back of the pitch. The Sedgwick here is poked it down the inside channel again and it's bounced off from wide out to the side. Um, Scotland's lifted it up and that's into trouble. That's off the Scottish stick and hit Ramey Parker, but the umpire's given it to Scotland, amazingly. It was off the Scottish player and then off the Scottish stick. And that's a lovely, um, lovely trap from Ramey. One, two with Pollock. Uh, Peyton was waiting for that and laid a big stick on it. Oh, that's very nicely taken there from 23. The umpire is doing over here. He's got his, both his hands up. I surrender. There he is. I'm sorry, he said. I think. <laughs> Apologising. <laughs> uh, good fun. You see the umpires here in the multi coloured tops, which is great. Adds a bit of character and a bit of interest to the game. Oh, Pollock's tried to put that up through. Peyton is probably better off to go early and go wide. Sedgwick has protected that ball nicely. Oh, and um, the Irish player didn't have his stick down. There's a nice turn inside, and here's a chance now. He's come back around the back, and he's missed the goal. What a chance that was. Pollock now on the ball. He's, he's had the auto pass, so it's a self play. They've got plenty of players, they just want to use them, keep moving the ball. They've got triangles, they should be having triangles everywhere, but they seem to be running away from it. Pollock now. No, that's a deflection, it's going to go off the back line for a 16. Scottish players are fighting for the ball here amongst themselves. But uh, Parker decided to join the fight as well. Uh, fall in Scotland's way. I don't think it's playing to them, but no. Switches back on the field over there. 32 after his um, two minute on the bench. Oh, and that's up and dangerous. score at 5-0 to Scotland. Um, uh, Keppel calls for the ball. Yeah, it's looking like it's um, going to be game over for Ireland here with a minute left on the clock. They can play the ball around in triangles all they like. Scotland they just drop back to a half-court press apart from one player up there on the centre forward spot so they've still got an eye to doing something. Ireland really need to move this ball forward because just playing it around the back isn't doing the trick. And they found Pollock. He pushed it through his player. He pushes through a second player, uh, but it's run off the back line. And there she is, folks, and um, that'll be all she wrote for this game. And that's where we leave it. 5 0 Scotland in the over 70s men's European Cup, Valencia 2023.